hi and welcome so in this video we are going to see about another birthday present question from april long challenge april lunch time 2020 fine so the question says that chef got another sequence as a birthday present he does not like this sequence uh, because it is not sorted since you are a good pro programmer chef is asking for help now what the sequence is the sequence given to us is a1 a2 a n and an integer k so we have a an array and an integer k fine uh, you may perform any of the operation of the following type choose a valid i and swap ai and ai plus k okay so what we can do in this particular question is let's suppose the sequence we have is one five two four three this is the sequence that is given to us and k value is two fine so we can have we can choose any i we can choose any element and we can swap the element present at ai and ai plus k fine any number of times to sort the sequence if it is sorted afterwards then we will print yes else we will print no okay for example if my test case is one four five two three and k value given to us is two so in this particular case what we can do is we can swap four and two that is nothing but i value as one I value as one and uh, i plus one will i plus k will become three so this is three zero one two three four so we'll swap these two values we get one two five four three fine and afterwards we can swap i value two and i plus k becomes two plus two which is four and we have to swap the value present at four that is i plus k fine so five and three can be swapped so we get one two three four five this is a sorted sequence so we will print yes okay in the previous uh, example in this if k value is 2 okay so there is no way that we get a correct answer okay so therefore this uh, example will give me a no fine so we will see this why this example is giving a no why there is no way to get a correct answer so this was the problem statement and these are the constraints of t equals to 100 and k and n 10 to the power of 5 and ai elements can be 10 to the power of 9 from 1 okay so let's see the some test cases and just analyze the question and let's see how to solve it okay so let's just write that test case again that is one four five two and three and k value is two so one thing that we have to notice and this is very direct that uh, if k value is two and i choose i value as zero let's say this so this element can only be swept with the elements that are present with an interval of k in between them okay so i plus k i plus 2k for example one can be swept with 5 and 1 and 3 how 1 and 3 so it can be 5 and 3 are swept with each other so it will be 1 3 5 and then 1 and 3 are swept with each other so it can be 3 1 5 okay so it is possible fine so only the elements that are present at a jump of k at a hop of k are uh, swap are possible to swap with each other similarly for 4 and 2 so if i value is 1 i plus 1 is 3 so 1 3 if there is a fifth element present then 5 if 7 is present then 7 so they are possible to swap with each other with one or more operations but it is possible to swap them like this okay so first 3 is swapped with 5 then 3 is swapped with 1 so 1 and 3 are possible to swap with each other if they are present at a hop of k with uh, to each other correct so only the elements that are present at a distance and a hop of k with each other are possible to get swap this is the first point and this is the only point in this particular question fine so if we just see 1 4 5 2 3 and k value as 2 and uh, 0 1 2 3 4 so the elements that are only possible to be swept are 1 5 and 3 so if we just take these elements out if we just take these elements out swap these elements 1 3 5 and put them back into its own array so it will become 1 4 3 2 5 okay so these are the elements that, that were just taken out these elements they are swept and they are put inside back into our original array now similarly if i have i, I if i go move forward with i equals to 1 so the elements uh, that we will have in the array will be nothing but 4 and 2 if we swap 4 and 2 uh, if we swap uh, sort 4 and 2 it will become 2 4 and uh, we push back push them back into our array it will become 1 2 3 4 5 correct so this array is now a sorted array because uh, because of the first point that after only k hops okay 
the elements are interchangeable with each other we can use this method if we are using this method that's one point to take care that we cannot uh, increase i value to till equal to k okay i should always be less than k why because we are moving the elements by hope of k so if it is 0 1 2 3 4 fine and if you are at 2 if you are at 3 so it will become 3 plus 2 which is 5 this is an invalid index okay and we can just go to the less than k also not it is not that we have to go to equal to k fine we can just go to less than k so if it is less than k we will just go for i equals to 0 and i equals to 1 fine so let's take one more example to understand this process better let's take an example that will contain repeated elements okay so let's say we have a 5 uh, 2 6 2 2 uh, 2 uh, 1 okay so let's say we have this so it is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and let's say k equals to 3 this time so if k equals to 3 so if i begin with i equals to 0 so it is 5 then hop 3 so 0 plus 3 is 3 2 and hop 3 so it is 8 so we have 5 2 1 if it's sorted it will become 1 2 and 5 we push it back into our array so the array now uh, will become simply 1 5 uh, 2 5 like this fine so and we have already have 2 6 2 2 inside our array now let's go for i equals to 1 so let's hope k elements so if you have k elements 1 plus will become 4 so it will be nothing but this element and uh, anything else no nothing else so if we swap and put it back so it will remain the same array fine and let's go for i equals to 2 so when we go for i equals to 2 so it will be 6 and the element will be now 2 okay now if we swap this element so will 2 will come here and 6 will come here or if you are taking into if you are take because we are taking into separate array we will take it to separate array we will sort it it will become 2 6 and we will put it inside our array back so now the array becomes 1 2 this is the sort 2 6 and the previous elements are 2 2 5 fine now we do not need to go any further than this i less than k so this is my array now we can just check is this array a sorted array so no this array is not a sorted array because 6 5 is not in a correct position so therefore we will simply print no that it is not possible to sort this array with this particular operation so fine so 6 5 was never possible uh, you can see 6 5 will never interact with each other uh, throughout because k value is 3 if k value was 2 then we can swap the values of 6 and 5 at this position also fine so this is not possible right here that is 6 and 5 uh, will be in a different position and now we cannot swap them because k value is 3 so we at, at, least, at least need 3 elements between them for uh, to, to make it possible to swap okay so what is the uh, algorithm we will just run a loop for i equal to 0 to i less than k i plus plus fine then uh, we will run a loop for let's say j equals to i from the index i j less than total number of elements j plus equals to k we will hope k elements each and every time uh, let's create a, another array let's say b array and we will put all the elements inside of this array we will sort this array and then again the same loop will work that is j equals to i j less than n and j plus equals to k and we will put all these elements back into array a at those exact same positions because this is the same loop so at the same positions the array will go back so what will be the time complexity of this particular question so let's just analyze it so let's say k value is 1 fine so how many times this loop will run this loop will run just one time the outer loop the inner loop uh, because j is adding one each and every time till n so this loop will run 10 to the power of 5 number of times fine then a sort so it is nothing but n log n and then a loop again for 10 to the power of 5 number of times so if k value is 1 so the time is nothing but n plus n log n plus n so it is nothing but n log n fine now to check if an array is sorted is again a separate loop for checking is array sorted or not okay we just have to check for the adjacent element less than if a of i is less than a of i minus i then it is false obviously okay let's say 6 5 6 is less than 5 so it is false so therefore this is just order of n so we have for this particular loop n log n as a time complexity and this part is outside the for loop so plus n so again it is order of n log n if k equals to 1 because the outer loop is just running one number of times fine so let's move forward let's say now k equals to 1000 
fine so this loop will run thousand number of times the inner loop in this uh, j is added with k till we reach 10 to the power of 5 okay so till we reach 1 lakh till we reach 1 lakh 1000 is added each and every time so from i equals to 0 it will become 1000 when we add it then it will become 2000 then it will become 3000 then 4000 so on till 10 to the power of 5 that is 1 lakh so the inner loop will run how many number of times 100 number of times because 1000 adding 1000 100 times will give me 10 to the power of 5 fine so this loop inner loop is working now for 100 number of times so 100 log 100 and then 100 again so this is nothing but constant everything so if this is nothing but 10,000 for the outer loop and 100 log 100 for the inner loop okay so this is still inside our range of one second okay so how much is this uh, it is nothing but log 2 to the power of uh, let's say around 7 so it is 700 into 10 uh, it is 7 into 10 to the power of 5 around it so this is still in our range let's say now k value is changed from 1000 to 10,000 so if k value is 10,000 so the uh, outer loop will run for 10,000 number of times and the inner loop will just run for 10 number of times okay 10 log 10 so this is still in inside our range and then if k value becomes 10 to the power of 5 let's say let's say first for 50,000 so for 50,000 outer loop is 50,000 and inner loop is just for two number of times uh, so it is nothing but in the worst case, I am taking inner loop is just for two number of times because j i equals to 0. 0 plus 50,000 will give me 50,000 plus 50,000 will give me 10 to the power of 5 and we will break the loop. So just for two number of times. So it is still inside our range. Fine. And if k value is 10 to the power of 5, so the outer loop will just outer loop will simply run for 10 to the power of 5 number of times and inner loop just one number of times. So this is still inside our range. So this algorithm will be accepted in one second given the constraints that we are having. Fine. So this is a pretty simple algorithm. So let's see the code for this now. Uh, so this uh, we are taking the times case input then n and k is the input taking all the inputs in array of i creating an extra array of b let's say b array. Fine. And then running a loop for less than k number of times the int j then this loop is for hopping k times and adding into our extra array sorting our extra array then again putting all the elements back into our original array sorted element back into our original array fine so this is what i have explained about the time complexity fine and then uh, we are using a flag variable to check if the array is sorted or not so just run a loop into our array so if it is if any element is greater than the next element then that means it is not sorted so what we will do we will simply uh, make flag equals to one break if flag is one print no else print yes so just hopping k times getting the elements in inside us array sorting that array putting that sorted array back into our original array this is nothing but our logic this part fine so after doing these things if the array is sorted we will print yes else we will print no why this is valid because the swapping can only be done with the elements present in at the k hops this was the first observation and this is the most important observation in this particular question that swapping can only be done in the elements that are present at the k hops with each other only in those cases the swapping is possible whereas the swapping is not possible therefore using that we created this one fine thank you